Today we'll be going over the basics of Library Portal, as well as configuring some settings using the Enterprise Admin Portlet. To help us in this live cast, I'm going to set up Library Portal for a fictional school called Victory High School. To help you understand workflow and different processes, this fictional high school will be used in all following tutorials as well. With Library running, take a web browser to HTTP localhost port 8080. Once there, click the login box to sign in. The default login is test at liferay.com and the password is test. When each user first logs into the portal, they are presented with a terms of use agreement. You simply need to scroll down and click the I agree button. Once logged in, you want to take notice of the dock. It is in the upper right hand corner of the page. This is what you will use to navigate around the portal. The dock is a drop-down menu that has basic navigational functionality and page options, and as administrator you see many options. Home takes you to the main page of whatever community or organization you are currently navigating. My account allows you to view and edit your information. Sign out is where you sign out of the portal. Add application allows you to add content to the page. Layout template changes the physical structure of the portlets. Manage pages takes you to an overview page that allows you to change options for each page of the community or organization you are currently viewing. Toggle edit controls allows you to view the page as a visitor who is not logged in would. And My Places opens a dropdown of the communities and organizations the user belongs to. By default, Library Portal comes set up with the user's personal community, two test organizations, and the guest community. Notice that we are currently on the guest community's public pages, as it's highlighted blue. If you're ever unsure of where you are in the portal, you can use a doc to figure it out. Under My Places, go to the My Communities private pages. Here's the administrator's private page. You can control the entire portal from here. One of the great things about Liferay is that you can make changes to the page and you don't have to refresh the page to see those changes. For example, I'm going to rename the navigation portlet to Where Am I? Saves automatically. You can drag and drop and move the portlets around. I'm going to bring the dictionary portlet up to the top. You can add pages. I'll add two pages. The first one is Message Boards. And you just click Save after you're finished typing. The second one we'll call blogs. You can move the pages around to where you want them, which order you would like them in. You can rename the pages. We'll call welcome home. And you can also delete the pages. And you can do all this without having to refresh the page. This is because of our use of Ajax UI. Let's go ahead and delete all of the portlets. Okay, now that we've finished deleting all the portlets, I'm going to go up to my dock and click Add Application. And this is where you go to add content to the page. Notice that the portlets or applications are conveniently organized into subcategories. To add one to the page, you simply have to drag and drop or you can click Add to add it to the page. I'm going to choose the Enterprise Admin and the Communities Portlets and add them to the left side of the page. Then I'll put the Admin Portlet on the right side of the page. Now when we click Close, as you can see, the Admin Portlet is currently bigger than the Enterprise Admin, and I actually want to change that. So I'm going to go to my dock and click Layout Template, and Liferay Portal comes with 10 layouts out of the box. I'm going to go ahead and choose the two columns 70 30 split and click save. And now you can see that the enterprise admin and the communities portlets is bigger than the admin portlet. Next, we'll change some settings for the portal. We are going to change the name of the portal and the mail domain, as well as some info for the administrator. So go ahead and click the arrow tab in the enterprise admin portlet to see more options and then click Settings. And let's change the name of the portal to Victory High School.
and the new mail domain will be uh, victoryhighschool.com. Click Save once you're finished, and it shows you that your request was processed successfully. Next, we'll change the email of the administrator to match this new mail domain by going to the doc and clicking My Account. And currently, the administrator's info is the default one that comes with LifeRay. We'll change this to match the new info for Victory High School, so the new screen name will be Administrator. And the new email address for the administrator will be admin at victoryhighschool.com. And let's go ahead and change the first and last name as well so we don't get confused. We'll just put admin, admin instead of test, test. And once again, don't forget to click save after you're finished. And now return to the full page. Once we close the My Account view, we are taken back to where we were before, which is the Settings tab in the Enterprise Admin Portlet. And note that the new email address will affect the login process. So instead of test at liferay.com, the administrator must now log in using the new email address, which is admin at victoryhighschool.com. So we're going to go ahead and change the email notifications to match this new administrator's address. So you want to click Email Notifications. We'll change the name to Administrator and the address to admin at victoryhighschool.com. As always, you want to click Save when you're finished and make sure you get the Request Process Successfully bar. Click Return to Full Page. And in this live cast, you learned how to navigate around the portal and how to change some of the default admin settings. Thanks for listening and join me on the next live cast as we learn how to create communities.